All right, guys. So we had a uh, a uh, blackout and came home after after having a blackout and found out like my NRA sticker on the front of my computer there. <laughs> anyway, found out that uh, my computer was kaput after this blackout. So um, what I'm going to do is I've got some repair parts for it. I've narrowed down the uh, narrowed down the problem to a uh, burned out motherboard. So I'm going to be replacing the motherboard and I thought I'd bring you along doing some repair work for it. Built this computer about four years ago and uh, I really liked it. So anyway, if this, uh, if this is successful um, you'll be seeing this video online here in the next day or so. So Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, tear it open here and uh, start replacing the motherboard. First thing you want to do is make sure that you've discharged any of your um, static from your body. You can do that by touching a lamp. It's grounded by touching um, the uh, a, a screw on a socket that's grounded, different things like that. So we're going to be getting all the components out. There's the video card of this bad boy. <coughs> Just got to take off all the components one by one. What a pain in the butt this is. I used to, probably not a lot of everybody knows, but uh, I used to uh, build computers and repair them. That used to be my job. And I'm pretty good at it. So. I've replaced the video card, the RAM, and the power supply to this unit, to this computer, and none of those uh, changed the status of it. So I've narrowed that. So I'm pretty sure that it's the motherboard. on that fan right there, on that heat sink rather. See that cut? That was on the, uh, the fins. As you can see, we didn't really have the best seating of that uh, heat sink, but could have been worse. Let's pop open the processor. 
and see what we've got. We'll inspect it. And it looks fairly unmarred. So that's good. That is really good. Okay. And there is the heart of the computer. Right there is our processor. Looks fairly decent. Cleaning the uh, processor, cleaning the coolant or the um, thermal grease off of the, uh, this is, yeah, off of the processor here so I can reseat it. So, the heat sink has been blown off. Yeah, it's still a tiny bit dusty, but good enough. And, the sink has been cleaned. Real well, the processor's been cleaned. And, for thermal grease, I'm going to be using, yeah, if I can find it, some, just some cheap stuff from Best Buy. This Dynex stuff. It's just a uh, silver thermal compound. So, anyway, that's what I'll be using to seat the processor as we go along here. Here is the tricky part. So what we need to do is we need to get a nice solid spread of thermal compound around the processor. See that much grease coming over the sides. All 
All right, so the heat sink's on. 